A new prime minister finally, what's next? I mean, is it cabinet formation? Yes, indeed, it has. Um, after the PM has been selected, all eyes will now be on government formation. And we're looking at a timeline of probably around early September for the uh, cabinet to be formed and the new government to take power. Um, as of now, uh, SETA has been um, selected the prime minister in a parliament vote yesterday. So uh, what's next for him is that he will need to get a royal endorsement. And um, according to details that are emerging this morning, that's almost a done deal in terms of paperwork and there's an event planned for this evening for him to formally receive the royal endorsement and then he can proceed to form his cabinet. Now Pei Tai and its uh, 11, uh, uh, 10 other coalition partners have discussed which uh, how many ministries each party will receive in the new go governing coalition, with Pesai gaining the most uh, ministries of eight, and um, other key members uh, gaining four and two and such and, and so on. Um, but the extent of who controls which ministries has not yet been announced, so all eyes will be on that. Um, once the um, once Pesai has his cabinet, then they can be sworn in, in before the king, um, which. Uh, is expected around in, uh, expected within the next coming weeks, and we might have a government by early September. So, in fact, Peter, you know, what are the economic policies uh, that they plan to implement this new administration, and uh, how does that tally up with what the country actually needs? Sure. Uh, Putai has been known to be big on populist policies, and it's expected that its government uh, will also go big on stimulus. Um, now, Putai and its coalition partners have announced that most of the policies that the new government will implement will be based on what Putai has pledged before the election. And these include um, uh, a flagship policy of, known as digital wallet, where it, the government will give each Thai age 16 and above uh, 10,000 baht each in digital wallet cash. And now that's a big, uh, big, big number because it will cost about um, 560 billion baht, which is about 3% of Thailand's GDP. Um, but um, the impact on uh, inflation uh, remains to be seen because it's a one-time payment. And also another key policy will be to raise the minimum wage by 70% from what it is now. Uh, they plan to implement this over four years. Also, the key will, to watch will be how this will impact small businesses and what it will mean for inflation. Uh, Baz, talk to us about the latest on uh, former Prime Minister Thaksin after his return from exile. Indeed, it has been a very big week for Thailand with Thaksin returning from home from 15 years of being in exile and also his ally being elected to power. Now Pei Tai returns to power after about uh, nine years since the military coup in 2014. Um, uh, after Thaksin arrived yesterday to a very warm welcome of supporters and senior party politicians, he was taken to the Supreme Court um, where he was uh, confirmed to uh, have to serve eight years in jail from three corruption cases. And then he was taken to a uh, Bangkok prison where he was staying in a private room uh, due to his uh, con medical conditions. But as it turns out, that he, he didn't spend the night in the hospital. He was transferred out of the hospital. Uh, he didn't spend the night at the prison. He was transferred to a hospital in the early hours of Wednesday um, because he was complaining of chest pain and hypertension. Um, and it remains to be seen whether he will, uh, it's also expected that he will ask for a royal pardon, but it remains to be seen when that will happen. Uh, it's unlikely that he will uh, serve a full eight years in jail.